Hey, what's up guys? It is Saintspin and welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Today I have something actually pretty cool for you guys. Now this is a glitch and I haven't done too many glitches in a while, but considering the situation that we're in right now with these uh, beer hats and these special crates and how these special crates in the game, they're really buggy. Sometimes they don't spawn, sometimes they do. Uh, sure they're going to spawn, but then you go there and there's nothing there. I don't know, there's just a bunch of issues with the special crates. So that's why I figured this video could be helpful for some of you guys. So if you do find this video helpful, then definitely go ahead and leave a like. Again, if we can hit over 2,000 likes, that would be absolutely awesome. The support the last couple of weeks has been absolutely amazing. I just want to thank you guys. You guys are truly awesome. Anyway, getting into the glitch. So like I said, this is going to show you guys how to get not only the beer hats, but also the liberty or the happiness is liberty t-shirt which are all pretty rare clothing options you can only find them right now in these special crates which like i said are super buggy you know especially if you're trying to find them and you know what i'm talking about so i'm going to show you guys how to do it on xbox i'll leave a link in the description as well as a guide on how to do it on ps3 um it's pretty much the same way but there are some differences just because on ps3 you can't delete dlc also, I don't know how long this is going to last because I don't know if Rockstar is going to patch this or not. So definitely go do this as soon as possible. But the first thing you need to do is have two characters. If you don't have two characters, go make a second one. It's pretty easy. You can skip the tutorial. All you need is a second character. Now, either once you've made a second character or if you've already had one, switch from your main character that you want the hats and the shirt on to that secondary character. Now, this probably doesn't matter, but I'm going to tell you guys anyway, just in case something does go wrong. On my first character, when I did this, my spawn location was last location. And on my secondary character, I had it in my garage. Not sure, again, if that matters, but I'm just going to let you guys know anyway. And then another thing, on the first try that I show you guys where I unlocked the t-shirt, I had the USA hat on my first character. So, uh, I'll get more into the hats and how that really affects it in a second here. But, just letting you guys know. So, once you get to your secondary character, it's actually pretty easy to do from here. All you do is you hit the big X button and then you go to system settings, at least this is what I did. And then you go to storage and then you delete the Independence Day pack. Now once you delete Independence Day pack, simply load up GTA again. Now it shouldn't matter whether or not you go into story mode or if you go straight into online. The first try I go straight into online, download it. The second try I go into story mode, download it. But either way, you download the DLC. And then once you re-download the DLC, it should put you onto your secondary character. Now from here, all you do is switch back to your first character and it should work. Sometimes I have tried this and it hasn't worked. I would say it's about a 90% success rate, but you should unlock something if you do this. Now what you're going to see me do, uh, and this is the first time I did it. Like I said, the first time I only locked the shirt, I didn't get the beer hat. I'll get into the beer hat in a second. But when you do this and you go back to your main character, go to accessories and then go to hats and check and see if any of the beer hats are there. If they are not, then you need to do this again. They also sometimes may spawn in your wardrobe in your apartment, so go check that too before you do anything. But like I said, this is my first character, so I got the shirt. To get the shirt, after you do this, all you do is go into a clothing store, and then it should be in special shirts, and it should be free actually, so you can get it that way. Now to get the beer hat, and I, again, I don't know if it was just coincidence or what, but the first time I did it, like I said, I had a USA hat on my first character. But then the second time I tried this, I took all of my hats off, both characters, even though I never had a hat on the secondary character. And that worked, and that gave me the beer hat. I used the same method of, you know, deleting the DLC and then re-downloading it. I just didn't have a hat on my first character. So not sure if that matters. It, it might, it might not. Just try it both ways, and you should get it to work. Now, the one problem is it's random. I, some people have told me that they've gotten all of the beer hats. Some people told me that they only get one of the beer hats. So it's completely random, it seems, what hat you actually get. For me, I got the Piss Wasser hat, as you see, and although it doesn't look the greatest, I would have preferred one of the other hats, you know, I'm still happy because now I don't need to go and wait hours to find a special crate, and if I do want to do that, you know, that's just to get some of the other colors. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this helps you guys, because a lot of you guys were wondering, you know, how do you get these beer hats, and I don't want to spend so many hours trying to get them, especially with the special crates being all buggy and glitched out. So again, I'll leave the instructions in the description if you want to go check them out. And if you have a PS3, those instructions will be in the description as well. A quick recap, make sure you have no hats on any of the characters, switch to your secondary character, delete the DLC, load back into uh, online, re-download the DLC, and then switch to your first character and it should be in your inventory. But that is it with this video. Go ahead and like it. If, again, if we can hit over 2,000, that would be amazing. Yeah, one more video for today. So see you guys in that video. But as always, it's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.